Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for watching today. Today we are back with another Funko Pop mystery box unboxing for you. This time we went back to Spastic Collectibles and we got their brand new mystery box, which is their flocked grail mystery box. And you know I love my flocked pops here on the channel. So when I saw this one, I definitely had to grab it. And they put out a few really awesome mystery boxes back to back to back. The last one we didn't really get much out of if you want to check that out we put that up last week here on the channel and coming up we'll also have another mystery box coming from them with a star wars celebration exclusive mystery box where you'll have a chance at some of their top hits being those star wars celebration exclusives from the past so i'm really really excited about that one of course we have star wars celebration coming up at the end of the month that we'll be going to that i'm so excited to get all of those pops so that'll be a great mystery box but today let's go ahead and open up this one now, if you do want to know, here is a look at the three top hits. I'm not sure what some of the other big hits are, but these three one, top ones are definitely really awesome with that flocked animal, that flocked kind of multicolored Bigfoot, and then also the flocked Trix Rabbit. All three pops that I've wanted in my collection for a very long time. So if we had a pitting that, that would be amazing. Now, it's not quite clear if the other top hits are also flocked, if they have a lot of flocked pops in this. I still assume there's going to be plenty of commons in here as well or maybe some regular exclusives because it is a guaranteed value box it was 66 dollars for this but normally they do try to have you go a little bit above where you are and then of course you get one of their top hits you'll go much more above so hopefully we can get at least one good pop in here and if we get some comments hopefully they are good ones that we don't already have in the collection that we can then add in there so let's go ahead and jump in to this box and get this cut open and see what awesome stuff that we have in store for this one. The last mystery box, there was not a single pop that I really, really loved. I mean, there was one Marvel What If pop, but it wasn't one that I was really looking for because I've seen it a lot, I just never picked it up. So hopefully this time it's a little bit better. And so we have the four pops packaged in right there, as you can see, all wrapped up. And last time was a little bit tricky with me getting them out without seeing them. So let me figure out if I could do that same thing again here. So give me a sec. All right, so I was able to get them out in a way where I have not seen them yet. So they're still a surprise for both myself and you guys. So let's just go in here and see if we can grab a pop. Okay, got this one off of the top. And it's not in a protector. So last time the biggest hit in the box was in a protector. So I assume this one is not a top hit but so let's see i don't feel a sticker or anything so it is a common for sure so the first pull out of our flocked grail hunt mystery box in spastic is going to be it is a boruto pop it is the common boruto from the new line uh for boruto naruto next generation it is a cool pop we have already unboxed the glow in the dark version from entertainment earth here on the channel and that one is really really cool i love the glow on that one so now having the common one and eh, i already had the glow which is which is a better pop but still some pretty cool detail on this figure here i'm pretty sure it's only going to be valued like that 12 to 14 dollar range because it is a newer figure so nothing too crazy on our first pull okay so the second box we have here i do feel a sticker I'm not familiar with what that sticker is. I can't really tell. Oh, it might be a convention exclusive. It might be like a fall convention or summer convention exclusive sticker. I think it's a rectangle uh, sticker here. So, so I guess we'll find out here in a second. And our second pop in this box is... Oh, it is the new uh, Marine for Pops with Purpose. Okay, so it was the scan to play thing that I was feeling there. It felt a little off. But I felt the, the rectangle, so I thought maybe it was. But yeah, this is the Marine Pop for the Pops with Purpose. Yeah, it is a little cool being able to honor the U.S. military here. But I don't have any of these Pops in my collection. They didn't really fit too much with me. And I believe that part of these does go to military families. Uh, yeah, Operation Homefront serving military families. So every purchase does help that. So that's really great from the Pops with Purpose line. Me getting it doesn't help at all, but I'm sure with Spastic buying it, that money did go over to the Operation Homefront. So we kind of helped in some sort of way with it. So let's go on to pop number three. And let's feel, uh, I feel two pops. One's in a protector. 
So I'm gonna, I am gonna save that one for last. I'm gonna save that one for last. So let's see what we have with this one here. So this third pop, still no sticker. So it is indeed gonna be a common. Let's see what it is in three, two, one. And it is, oh, Demon Slayer. It is Zenitsu from Demon Slayer. It is a pretty cool pop. I do really like the hair and like his jacket that they do, or his kimono, I guess, that they do look very similar. That's very cool how that color is, but not one that's really going to fit in my collection there. I have a couple of the Demon Slayer pops. That's mostly the exclusives that I have kept, uh, but I'm not sure about this one. I think it has like a decent value of like 15 to $20. I'm not sure I haven't checked in a little bit, but yeah, this is a little bit of a cooler pop uh, just because of the design on there. Again, I do really like that design, but one that I don't really love myself. So a couple anime pops and the pops with purpose one. So nothing that we really want for the collection here, but we have one pop left. So let's get into that one. And this one is the one that did have the protector. So hopefully this means that it is something good and let's see yep here at the back so let's see what we have is it a flock pop we'll find out in three two one it is it is a batman hell bad okay so this is a hell bad pop a uh, big apple collectibles exclusive i am not familiar with this character here I, of course, I know it's a Batman character, but I do not know much about this one at all. I remember when this was released from Big Apple Collectibles a couple years ago, I never picked it up for myself because I never really thought it was that cool. I mean, it's a, it's an interesting design and all, but I didn't think it was really anything that crazy. I didn't think it had that much value to it, but maybe it has jumped up since it's maybe been vaulted. We'll see. So nothing that's really too crazy in this one we did not hit any of the flocked pops so maybe it was just like those first top three that they showed in the photo were the flocked ones and everything else was kind of just random but they say there's guaranteed value so they say we have at least 66 dollars here you know which would mean that it has to be an average of like 17 18 dollars per pop so hopefully that hellbat does have a decent amount of value because otherwise i don't think they would really put that in a protector so let's go ahead and check out these values with pop price guide and we'll be right back and we are back with the values all calculated here from prop price guide a couple of these were a little bit surprising but a little bit underwhelming for what we were hoping to get out of this box so let's go down the line and show off what each of these pops are worth so we're starting with our first one down here on the end which was the new boruto pop coming from that new boruto line and this one is going to be valued up at $20, which was a little bit higher than I thought it would be. So very, very cool that that ended up hitting $20. So it helped us a little bit with the value. Our second one here was the Marines pop for the pop with purpose line. Uh, we do not actually have a value on pop price guide at this point. So I guess we'll just have to go with what Spastic Collectibles does when they don't have a pop price guide value on it and put it at $12. Now our third pop here, which was Demon Slayer's Zenitsu. This one is gonna be valued at $17, which was a little bit better, right around what the average needed to be for us, uh, but nothing spectacular. And then finally, Hellbat, I was hoping it was going to be something a little bit better, uh, something that's kind of like that mid-level tier pop as far as value goes, but surprisingly, it was not, even though it was in a protector, it was only valued at $25. So I thought they figured, oh, maybe because it's exclusive, we'll throw it in the protector and then maybe that will be like our one bigger pop. But that really wasn't the case. So I'm really, really uh, confused why they threw a $25 pop in a protector, but the $20 pop didn't have one. Who knows? But with that all together, it got brought us to a total value of $74. So it was above the $66 value, which was good. However, when you do take shipping into it, we end up coming below by a couple dollars. So overall, it was kind of a wash. Didn't really get too much out of it. No new pops to add to our collection. So I've been having some bad luck with these mystery boxes. I want to say like the last like five or six I've done pretty much all the pops, maybe except for like one or two of them. I have not been able to add to my collection because either I've already had the pops or they're pops that don't really fit into any lines that I really truly collect. I mean, I could say I'll keep the Batman one, but 
I don't really love it. I don't really love that one. I had many chances to pick that one up and I pass on it every single time. So this one is a little bit disappointing, but hopefully we have a little bit of redemption for the Star Wars Celebration mystery box that should be coming up. I think we'll probably have that running sometime next week here on the channel, so stay tuned for that. But I do want to hear from you guys. What do you think about our pulls from this mystery box today? Do you agree with me that it's a little bit underwhelming or do you really think the pops I pulled today were really great? And did any of you guys out there get a Spastic Collectibles Blocked Grail Hunt mystery box? And what were your pulls from it? Let me know about that in the comments down below. And of course, if you guys can, also make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that bell so that way you can be notified whenever we have new videos. And thank you guys so much for watching today. And as always, we'll see you again real soon.